So let's get paper crafting. We're going to start off with some old music paper, a tool to cut the paper with, some beads, color of your choice, string, glue stick, and some scissors. Now I'm going to match up the size of my paper strips to the size of my beads. So depending on what size beads you have, because they all come in different sizes, I purchased mine at the Dollar Tree store. So I'm just going to go ahead and match that up and start making slice slices. So first off, I needed to, this was from our three ring binder, so I needed to slice that off first. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut my strips. Now I need to use the glue stick to start attaching these end to end. Now I'm not really sure how many of these strips I'm going to need, so I'll kind of glue a few together and then glue them as needed. So now I have a needle, but my needle is an upholstery needle, a little bit thicker of a needle along with the string that I'm using is almost yarn-like, kind of like a macrame, but not as thick as the macrame. So we're gonna start right off with weaving it through one of the beads, but I need to tie this. This is going to be our bottom, our trunk of our tree. So I need to go ahead and wrap it around and tie a knot on it so that the, everything stays together. Now I just added a couple more beads to give a little bit of height to my tree and now I'm going to start off weaving the paper through the needle. I'm going to start right off at that end and pulling it all the way down. Gingerly this is paper and it's a thread and it's a needle so I don't want it to rip. So now I'm just making a tree branches. But as you see I'm folding it back over into the center and then I'm putting that needle through that center part again. We will not be cutting any of the paper We'll just be weaving it back and forth like this and then I'll go ahead and have my other loop and then I'll go ahead and put my needle through that middle part again. And as you see, I only have one string. I didn't double string it like you are sewing or anything like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and add one more bead to have a section off between the next branch. So I'm going to make my next row of branches just a little bit shorter than the bottom one. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it through that needle through that middle and then loop it onto the other side, put it through that paper in the middle and then very gingerly because I don't want yet again I don't want to rip my paper this is not a fast <laughs> job here and then after I get that branch done I add another bead, bead in between and then keep working back and forth on both sides before adding another bead, bead and working my way up and I do end up having to add a little bit more paper to it not sure how I wanted to finish it off or how my, how long it would take to get small it's better to have some on standby than not enough And then when you like it the way that it is and it has small little branches towards the top, you put one more bead on top. Just like the bottom, you need to tie it off and then you also need to tie a loop on top so you have a hanging system.
So I hope that you're enjoying this video. Hello there, my name is Yvonne. Welcome to Ginger Chick Rehab. And yes, we are bringing you some paper crafts for Christmas to do some holiday decor. Now you'll recognize this material because we're gonna be using the same material minus the beads for this ne next ornament. And this one too is going to use strips. But this time we're not going to glue them together and we are going to actually cut them in half. So I'm lining them all up, all the tops matching so I can just make one cut in the middle. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold them over and then cut them with the scissors. I'm going to go ahead and use that same string, but I did have to change out my needle. The upholstery needle I had had a little bit of bend to it, so it ripped the first paper. So I'm going to go and switch over to more of a straight point needle, but I do need to tie off the end and make a little knot. Next step is to fold these in half, butt up those ends, make sure they're matching, and then poke that needle all the way through, trying to center it as best you can, and then very gingerly Pull that string through. And as you see, we keep repeating the process all the way through the 12 strips of paper. When we get our last strip of paper on, we go ahead and pull the needle through the knot that was already there to tie it off. And I'll go back through and I'll get all my pieces of paper all straightened up. And then I'll use a little bit of double stick tape to make sure that it stays together, especially where the string is. It kind of wanted to separate, so a little dab of the double stick tape. And then I'll go ahead and do a loop and do a knot at the bottom to get a hanging system. Next paper ornament, this is one of those cases that it seems and looks harder than it actually is. So I actually took one of the pieces of paper, cut it in half, and we just need the glue stick um, and some double stick tape and some scissors. So first off is first is we are making a star. So I need to go ahead and do a triangle. So I'm just going to fold it over into the triangle shape and then for this one, since it's not completely square, the half, I'm gonna cut off the excess paper that I do not need. And then now we're gonna go ahead and open that back up and on the bottom, we are going to start to fold in together, kind of like making a paper airplane like when we were children or you can still do it as an adult, but yes, using that line as our guide of where to fold our paper into. And then now we're going to take that top section triangle and we're going to fold that over on top of the bottom part. And now we're going to take a corner and we're going to fold that into the middle. And we're going to take that other corner piece and make another triangle and fold that into the middle. So you'll kind of have like a little floppy two pieces on top of that bottom piece. And now this is where the glue stick comes in. We're going to go ahead on that bottom flap and put a little bit of the glue on there. Fold those two flaps over. And that is how we're going to have a little bit of a pocket to start making the star. So now I have to make four more. Now 
Now that I have all five made, we're going to start attaching them together. I did make a hanging system out of some of the string already and knotted, so it is ready. And I'm going to use some double stick tape to start taping them together. So I went ahead and reinforced this with just some staples. I just wanted to make sure that it was going to stay in place. And then another piece of tape to add the hanging system and it's a cute little star. have been pretty easy up until this point and this is still pretty easy itself so what we're doing here is that we are taking full sheet of paper a pencil a glue stick and some scissors and we are going to be making a standing tree now we need to cut our paper into a shape of a tree so first folding the paper in half and then I already actually have a template that I'd already done a couple more trees with and so now I'm just going to go ahead and trace that pattern. It's just the general Christmas tree classic patterns. So instead of cutting one by one, I'm going to go ahead and fold all these papers in half. I'm going to put them back together. I'm going to paper clip them together, then trace it, <laughs> trace it out and then cut them all together so I don't have to cut every individual piece of paper. Now we're going to go ahead and put that glue stick to use. So we're going to go ahead and start gluing these together. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a little tree trimming on the bottom after getting that last one glued on so I have a nice flat base. And at first I was going to use the glue stick to just attach the two to wrap it around on the other side. I wasn't sure if that would quite be strong enough so I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of double stick tape. And then now we're going to fold it out and have the two pieces. And then you have to pay, play with your branches just a little bit. Um, and fluff them out and then you have a, a very cute festive aged oh my gosh I absolutely love using these music sheets and this one is super simple the angel oh my gosh beautiful but simple so scissors paper full sheets of paper string a little bead for the top of her head some double stick tape and we are just going to start folding the full sheets of the paper back and forth so we have three sheets and yep flip and flop uh, just accordion style back and forth
Now that we have all three sheets folded the same way, we're going to go ahead and take one of the sheets and we're going to fold it in half. So now we're going to go ahead and use the string, the same string we've been using along with the needle, and we are going to knot the bottom so it does not pull all the way through, and then take the needle with the string and go right through that fold of the middle part of the bottom. Then using some double stick tape, we're going to go ahead and where the middle part where we put that string in, we're going to go ahead and attach those two together. For the next two pieces, we're going to go ahead the full length of them and then add some double stick tape and attach those two pieces together. Now that we have those taped together, now we're going to fold those in half. And where we attach the bottom, with the thread, we're going to, in the upward position, come from the bottom of where we folded and work our way through that paper. Now that paper is a little bit thick, so it might take a little, a little poking, or if you have a poking tool, or you might have a sharper needle than I did. I ended up having to get my piercing tool to get through all the paper. And we're going to take that bead, whatever bead color your choice is. I just happen to have black, and it coordinates well with the paper. And I'm going to run it back through because I need to attach the bead on and then I need to pull it back through and then knot it so I have a hanging system. And now that the wings are not the same length as what the bottom is, we're going to take a little snip on each side, trying to guesstimate eyeball that it's going to be the same size. Then we're going to go ahead and take a piece of double stick tape to the bottom on both sides. And then after we get those done, then we're going to lift her wings above her head and we're going to double stick tape those together also. Final project is this kissing ball. Oh my goodness. This is, I loved every one I did, but this has to be my absolute favorite. So I started off with a paper ball that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. It already had a hanging system on it. We have the music sheet paper, but I only needed to use half of that. And so we are going to, if you've ever watched one of my wreath making videos, this may look very familiar. Yes, yeah, so using a pencil is just like you're scrunching the paper over on top of each other. Now, I quickly realized into the first one that I'm like, oh, I had to glue my two pieces of paper together. But I, I, I do realize that once I pulled <laughs> my, um, my paper out. Well, of course, not on the first one. But anyway, so we're just going to be gluing it on to the ball. And then as fun as it is to watch me glue things together, oh my gosh, it is just turning out amazing. So I just, it's just a lot of repeat glue, repeat glue, repeat glue. But as there's just something about this aged paper that just makes it, oh, it's just gorgeous. So yes, if you ever watched one of my wreath videos, I can link one of those down below in the description box. That is just what makes them so addicting and sell so well. But I did make the decision that I don't think the original hanging system is even going to be able to be found. So I am going to go ahead and just use a thumbtack 
and another piece of that string to make a hanging system. Add it in there before I get all that paper built up. Thank you so much for watching today's video and what did you think have i inspired you in any way to make any of these crafts these diys you don't have to use the music paper like i did you could use any type of paper that your heart desires i just love that vintage look that the music sheet gives these ornaments so again thanks for watching today's video and as always if you're part of our youtube family thank you so much and if you were new and you were checking out this channel for the first time and you liked what you saw please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so you know we've uploaded uploaded a new video and we will see you next time guys and you can see what we're up to. Bye!